Welcome back to the Tracy Trendy Show, my lovelies. Another day, another dollar, and another deep scrubbing of life after lockup. My loves, let's get started. Let's get this ball rolling real quick. Now, of course, they're going to feature Key Rock and Brittany, and they're going to be constantly arguing, constantly. And um, Key Rock wants to make it purely about race. And um, Brent was like, you don't even know my family. It's not because of that. It's because that you're not the man. Okay, you're you're trans. But Key Rock thinks otherwise, but they kind of, you know, die down with this argument. But he says he feels a little nervous about meeting their people. It could be both things. It could be both. They could both be right. How about that? Moving on. Because, you know, I'm kind of tired of Key Rock and Brittany are always arguing. Moving on to Taylor and Chance. This is where we come to talk about. This is why we're here for the Tracy Trendy Show, right? Okay, my loves. Okay. Now, Taylor spills a tea to her friends and her sister who looks uh, not quite alert. You know, Bobby looks kind of like either she's out of it or, you know, she's over it. Because, or maybe taping was so long today, you know, in that day they were filming. But, but, but Bobby looks kind of not enough. But let's let's just keep on track, okay? So Taylor tells her friend and Bobby that she got 171 text messages, and they came back to her to kick out Chance. Now production revealed that the text messages they revealed the text messages, so we did get to see them, and it didn't appear as if Chance thought he was talking to Taylor. And Taylor has no time for the shenanigans. Now, she's all fired up, so she throws things outside. But I wish she'd wait until she got her laptop back because he just tossed it on the ground once he saw his things all in bags in the front yard. I mean, she doesn't need anything else effed up because she said her house looks like it was glued together. Yes, we can see from this picture because uh, this man child really effed up her life and home. Look at that kitchen, my love. Ooh. And all over the house. It's not just inside the house, it's outside the house as well. So anyway, whew, Chance arrives over to Taylor's house, like the big bad wolf that he thinks he is. But I'm like, you sure wasn't acting that way in front of Bobo or Boo Boo or Baba or whatever his name is. Okay? All of a sudden, he's a badass when it comes to women. And I was screaming, call Bobo, call Bobo. He will set Chance straight. All right? Okay. Moving on to Justine and Mike. Now Mike comes home to break the bad news with flowers that hopefully I guess the sweetness or soften the news that he has to spend 30 to 90 days to get cleared by the state. So he has to say 30 to 90 days in Pennsylvania. They can't automatically leave to, well they could, but he can't leave to Vegas. All right. So he suggests to Justine that they stay in Pennsylvania for six months. And I'm like, I'm Oh, that math ain't math because 30 to 90 days is not six months. Or why don't you just ask for a month to month? I don't know. I don't worry. Anyway, but I was just thinking, um, that's odd. Why take six months? But anyway, Justine is livid because they have $4,000 mortgage. And he wants them to pay for rent in Pennsylvania for six months? I mean, it's just has she not learned? Will anybody learn that Michael is unreliable and he speaks BS? Please. So anyway, I don't know what they're going to do, but, you know, he's supposed to be, you know what, another thing. She's tripping out over this money, but aren't they supposed to have all this money to fly the kids back and forth every month and they're going to go back to uh, Rhode Island? So why are you, you know, sweating this change? Or did you really, were you really planning to come back to Rhode Island and see those kids? My answer is, hell no. Mm -mm. So moving on to Louis and Mel. I am getting tired of the verbal abuse that Louis is getting. Okay? He's doing all of this stuff. And Melissa's doing all this, all the things that she wants to do. She's not asking for permission as well. She should. That's her money. And she pays the cost to be the boss. However, you know, when Louis was spending money on his car, she got all twisted up. So he wants to know, why are you able to do things to spend money? Without consulting me, you want, I guess you want me by your side, but I need a pass to leave the state. Then she wants to think her old ass is pregnant. And he says, you know what? I ain't ready for a kid. Matter of fact, I already got two kids and you got one. So 
I think that pregnancy thing and how she wants to get off, oh, uh, it's just her gaslighting and changing the narrative. And, you know, just so he can't prove that he was right for a sample. Okay. So they get to New York and he has a surprise for her. You know, they have lunch at a pizza parlor. And she's totally flipping out, but she really flips out when he says he got a job at a pizza parlor. Now she's asking, like she's embarrassed that this man got a job at a pizza parlor. What does she expect? I mean, he's coming straight out of the pokey and she was not embarrassed to say she had a boyfriend in prison. So I don't understand why she's upset that she got a, a, a non-con now out of prison. Moving on, Chevelle and Quay, they go um, wedding dress shopping. And I'm like, uh, whoo. Someone need to talk about that ill-fitting bra and that bad ink because it's not it's not working with the dress. No. But moving on, the the parents want each side start fighting again right in front of the kid. Not cool. And anyway, I'm kind of bored with that. But yeah, they're fighting because you know, same old stuff that um, you know, Chevelle's mom doesn't think Quaylana's good enough for her daughter or ready to get married or whatever, and she's totally right. But and a fight ensues. Okay, moving on to Lynn's and Blaine. Blaine wants to tell Lynn something. And he tells her that, you know, the years that Lynn's is facing and all the other stuff has got him kind of depressed. So he went to a doctor and he now has a medical green card. And Lynn says, hell to the no. Lynn says, no, they're barely making it. And, uh, and you know what? I also think it's not a good idea for two addicts to be, you know, partaking in such a thing. You know, it could be a gateway for something more stronger, especially if you're living with with um, Lindsay. And I think there are plenty of antidepressants that he could try first. And that could be probably free of charge or at least cheap and not definitely not addictive. But anyway. Lindsay goes hard on him. Then she talks about she's bringing all the bacon and he slams that bacon in the pan. And I'm like, um, I'm kind of confused. I'm kind of confused because when they were together, you know, she was barely working and he was holding her down. So I don't understand, you know, isn't it a relationship? You know, there's ups and downs as long as you, you know have proof you know he might be it might be the winter i don't know what time of the year it is when they're filming but he his work does slow down because he's in construction and i'm also wondering if you're pinching pennies you should not be planning a wedding as well as you should be saving all coins to go to that miracle attorney plus even though you're getting married that's more responsibilities and adding more depression so I think um, pushing him to marry him is not the right thing to do, especially when you're facing jail time. So if I am to believe that story is true. But anyway, here's Blaine and Lindsay. They're still together. All I have to say is Blaine, blink if you need help. Now, Sean and Sarah. Now, Sarah and Sean are also facing a little hard times. They're trying to start their little business, little tow business. And... Um, while in the meantime, Sarah's getting all this little surgery on her little person body. And um, she's also kind of uh, upset that her baby daddy is MIA. So I'm like, why are you reaching out to your daughter's father? Because isn't his absent proving that, you know what, he's up to things? I don't understand why you're chasing him to talk to him about a child and giving him one more chance. Uh, you know, I, are they trying to like keep him in the, in your web? I don't understand why is Sarah trying to continue conversation with Anthony. That is her child's father. I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand my love. What is going on? But apparently Anthony is MIA. So, and I'm saying if you're MIA, that's, you can kick rocks. Now, at this point in the show, you know, we always go down to uh, who's the winners and who are the losers. Key Rock and Brit. Oh, poor Brittany. She really got, she stood her ground with Key Rock over this whole situation. So Brittany is winning. So that is one of non-cons. Taylor and Chance, 
Taylor finally got some, uh, you know what, she's, you know, I don't know how long this is going to last, but um, Taylor, Taylor is winning. So we got two, oh, non-cons. Very good. We're going off to a good start. Justine and Mike, well, Justine is losing. You know, she had a, a C-section plan that she had to, I guess, reschedule. I don't know what she's going to do. Uh, Mike is not sweating it. You know, he said, you know, he wasn't thinking, he wasn't really business-minded. I don't, I don't think. So, so Justine is losing. Mike is winning. So we have our score at 2-1 non-cons. Louis and Mel, Melissa's wigging out. Louis staying strong. He has a job. He's not letting anybody get him down. So I'm going to give the win to Louis. Louis. So 3-1. No, 3-2. No, 2-2. Two, two. We're 2-2 two, two, even. Now we're down to Chevelle and Quailan. Um, their parents are fighting. They're not really winning. So I'm going to skip them. Lynn's and Blaine. Blaine is going through things. He is losing. So Lindsay wins as well as the cons. The cons win this. Thing. Oh, 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 we got to go back to Sean and Sarah. They're barely on the show this week. Um, hmm. They're not really, they're not really losing. They're just sticking around. I'm not going to count them in as winners or losers this week. So there you have it. I'm going to say one, two, uh, two, one, two, 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 three. Oh, the cons are winning. The cons won this week, my love. Surprise, surprise, right? So you know what you have to do. You have to subscribe. If you have not subscribed, hit that notification bell, my loves, as well as subscribe. If you have not subscribed, drop a line below. Let's continue this conversation down in the comments section because we know it goes down in the comments. All right, my loves, I'll catch you all out on the flip side.